Oh my goodness. Good afternoon, everybody. I know it's noon on Tuesday, and this is the Perspective Shifters. And this episode today, we're going to be talking with the amazing Jen Weatherly, and we are going to be talking about your, um, your web presence and how she expertly makes your web present better. So this is the Perspective Shifters. We are all about featuring women cross-platform talking about hot topics, pain points, how to get things better, the stuff we shove under the rug and never get taken care of, but we know we need to. That's what we talk about here on the Perspective Shifters. My name's Erin Strayer. I am a, what am I? I am a business um, strategist and growth consultant for female entrepreneurs in the online world, helping you leverage yourself, your business, your process, making it better and going out there. This platform is all about women, all about showing off women and what they do best and where they're at in the world and how we can help each other. Jen Weatherly, dun, dun, dun. We're going to be talking <laughs> to Jen Weatherly. And this woman is over the top, crazy talented, gifted. She is an amazing artist. She's an amazing designer. She's um, ridiculously talented when it comes to um, tech and how to make that better and one ground rule we only got one you yeah. say hi and they let us know you're here and you hang out and you play with us so that's <laughs> our only ground rule <laughs> so if you're here and you're on live with us tell us hi and uh, we'll make sure to give you a shout out so hi honey thanks for joining us today thank you for having me yeah you you talk a little bit about yourself and your backstory because you gotta you you haven't always just been like a, a, an amazing web designer for people, always. No, no. I, I started out working in the hospital and taking care of um, blood work for people. And I never really saw myself becoming a, a, techno, a technology person. I thought it was so beyond me. Yeah. So now I do this because I really am very good at technology and I understand it. So that was like the first phase of what I did. And then I was like, how do I become a designer? And the um, clients that I would connect with, their designs sort of just came to me. And so I started kind of using that as my jumping off point. And then I just really started to understand what was happening. And now I, I connect way up to their, um, to their soul essence. And I just bring back all of that information. And that's how I design now. It's, it's become a lot easier, but it's also filled with flow and perfection for the actual, the, the person that wants the, the website. So that's, you know, and you just kind of let it roll off. Like it's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> just like it's no big deal. Yeah. But it really is. And, and it's a gift and a talent that's nowhere close to cookie cutter. That's no. nowhere close to, um none of your clients turn out the same because yep. everybody is so different and it is so amazingly beautiful to to watch what you create it is just amazingly beautiful to watch it and um like i i'm like thrilled that <laughs> that uh, you're on here with us because i want to dive really into that and again you guys as you're coming on make sure to tell us hi Give us the hearts and some love and let us know that you're on live with us. We love that. I'm going to keep inviting friends as we're going live here with you and um, um, see see if we can get some other people jumping on with us. But um, you do a really, really cool, <clears throat> this flow and the functionality yeah. is so pivotal. Pivotal? Just like that <laughs> Um you all know what I'm saying um, <laughs> because the technology is a given, right? Like the technology is a given and um, um, you're brilliant at the technology. Thank you. Like it's now an easy thing for you, right? <laughs> technology it just flows and it's no big deal. And it's, it's easy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. But the other two comp components of what you do that is so ridiculously different than everybody else is that that artistic design yeah. and the connection yes 
Yeah. So the connection bits like the first part and um, and now I'm reworking how I even begin a project. So um, of course, I'll interview the client, but then I just I have to sit down and really connect to who they really are and um, and what they need for their business, because sometimes there's energetic issues around the business that need to be cleared first and, you know, they need to be resolved um, and then there's also spirit guides that want to have their say. And this is all very new um, and I'm bringing this into technology because they are the ones that are helping you out with your ideas. And those ideas are magical and they're magical for a reason because they come from you know a wonderful place. And so when I connect up there and I bring in that information, we now have amplified that idea and, and now I can create the flow in the technology and bring it right back down. I know it's so amazing. And like, I lose my mind thinking about it because it's just so cool. It's so about it. rock and cool because not only do you have, I, I'm, I'm like, I have to jump in because not only, sorry, we're going to just put a flat out apology on jumping in on today. So <laughs> <laughs> not only do you have, you know, the ability to do the design but that connection and then all the information that comes from the connection that is such a gift. It is such a gift that, that is given and there are, there's no way that any, <laughs> that any two could ever be alike and that amazing amount of information that comes and is like constantly given and shown and directed is so on purpose and so individualized and so, you know, the word custom doesn't even come close to describing. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Thanks Karen. Oh, I can see your comments there. Oh, that's a wonderful comment. Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, I would love to talk more about just like how really pure the technology becomes uh, when it's uh when it's uh, divinely downloaded like that, and then I can be guided to do certain things that um, that maybe nobody would even ever see before, and like little elements, like little flecks of gold in a certain area, um, and it just helps support flow. But nobody, you, you wouldn't even think about doing that um, otherwise. So uh, there's just like hang tight. Oh, are we having technical difficulties? Still there? <laughs> there we go. Is that me or you? <laughs> are we still there? Yeah, I'm still here. You with me, Erin? Can you see me? We might have lost there, people. I don't know our connection. Uh, are you there, Jen? I am here. Hop out and hop back in, baby. Okay. Um, stop my camera. Hopefully we don't lose Jen. She's going to hop right back in, guys. Thanks for hanging with us, but uh, Jen's coming in from Canada with us, and uh, so sometimes the connection's a little wonky. There you are. Hi. Yeah, I'm here, and Suzanne says I, we were both here at the same time. <laughs> Good. Yay. Thanks, Suzanne. I can't yeah. see your comments on the screen, but I'm following you here, so thanks, you guys, for for hopping in with us and, and hanging with us. So um, sometimes in the winter it gets a little wonky with the <laughs> and stuff. So Crazy and enough. our people might be connecting. <laughs> yeah, well, there's always that. There's a, they're always messing with technology. You can't no. <laughs> you yeah. can't do what you want to do. <laughs> hey, I just saw Robin just dropped on too. Hi, Robin. How are you? Um, but uh, yeah, let's just hop right. Can you can you hop right back in your train of thought there and keep on rolling? Yeah, yeah, I can. And um, you know what? Sometimes when a when a project is coming together and you're getting all these amazing ideas and you can see how you can put it together, you know, um, in reality, uh, and you're being like, you know, supported so completely by your spirit um, spirit guides. If that's who you think you're connecting with, sometimes it's like archangels, it's angels, it's uh, it could be anything. It could be spirit animals. And all of this, it could just be a simple energy, um, even comes down to like some sometimes some crystal energy or plant energy. And those things support you. So I can read into all of that and I can pick up on it. And then that is what gets 
you know, me to develop the whole sacred business container for your great idea because it has to have a place to go to and the flow has to be there for um, the abundance to come into it and the receiving and giving hell has to happen as well. These are all real things, even though it doesn't sound real, it is real. And that's where we're moving into a new, a new era of business where it's sacred and we become like heart centered preneurs, right? Um, where honor is key. Yeah. And this is something that we have to put in the forefront. And what we put behind that is, you know, really great technology that's got great flow. And that's what I build. So I see how it comes together and locks in together like a like an amazing puzzle. Um, and yeah, it is. And like and they show me like a crystal ball. Like if you explode it out, it's got all these parts and pieces and products, copy, everything like then I put it together in this beautiful packaging. And that is what your bus your business website would end up being. And that's how I treat it. So it's very different from just regular old building a website. <laughs> regular old. <laughs> yeah. No, there's none of that around here. <laughs> no, I mean, it is totally, you're like in a league all your own. Like you, you're out there in a, seriously, like in a whole lane all your own. And it's, and it's really, really cool. And it's so special when, when, when it's created in conjunction with our our essence, right? Our spirit, our being, our the purest form of us. Yes. At a cellular level, and that you're able to tap into that, and um, man, the outcome is just mind blowing. What the outcome is, and it's super exciting. Yeah, it, it and it really is like. Mm -hmm where you can take one thing that be, it's, you know, like very flat almost, and then you can make it become this dimensional um, thing. Cause I like building with like gamification and like fun because that's so that much. Hmm? What was that word? Fun. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. Yay, fun. <laughs> and things need to be interesting and they need to like have space. So they're fun to be inside of. And that's also, you know, part of, how I build and like my personal style is like minimalist and and super fun. Like it's got to be interesting. And when you're in there, you're like you're you're like peeling back the layers to get more. That's what you want. More. Yeah, more. So I know that um, these three parts, you know, the connection, the technology and the flow are all mm -hmm. so intricate. And they're all so on purpose with your business. Um, and I know that for me, struggling to think that technology was actually, um, you know, because the title of our thing is sacred business, right? So that's yeah. what we're talking about and how that how that translates into your web presence um, across the board, right? So that you bring in all the information from our all of our people, all of our being, all of the essence of ourselves. Yeah. And you plug it in with a design and then the technology comes after. I don't even know the process of how that all works, but how in the world is technology sacred? Like that to me, just, it seems like it's so like, right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. in my brain, I'm like, Oh, it's nuts and bolts. It's pieces and parts. It's like mechanical. No, and it's just it's like there's yeah. nothing sacred about that. And I know that you totally have a whole nother thought on that. Yes. But, you know, like in my brain, it's such a hard thing to shift my thought on that. So can we talk about that? Yeah. I'm, the, sure I'm not the only one. Anybody else in here think that that's like a weird thought? Yeah. No, every like a lot of people do. Right. OK, so. Technology is very thought of as very flat, like it's binary and mm -hmm. it has function. It's written by code. Mm -hmm. um, and that's but, why I think that, right? <laughs> sure. But there's like there's elements to coding that can alter it to make it incredibly different and change the way it behaves. Uh, and I'm going to move out of that a bit because um, the technology was a brilliant idea that kind of came down and 
and they, it just found the right person to develop it. And then, you know, these ideas, they keep rolling out of our heads like, oh, I wish I could do this. And it develops. Somebody develops it. And then now you have this extra like they're just ideas that become reality. And then they become automations in your system. And so when you build a system really clean and clear, like in my head, I'm clean and clear when I build it and I build it in a way that's like um, all everything's good. The structure's good. And I make sure it stays that way so that it's a functional machine that's going to keep working. And, and then then you put in those automations like plugins is kind of like those automations. Um, and I also use Divi theme, which is an amazing theme and comes stock with amazing functions. So all of that is also it's be, you can use it in a sacred way. It doesn't need to be flat. It can like you can take uh, landing pages like we just created one for a new project yeah. we're working on. And it's so freaking cool what I did. And <laughs> it's just like, you know, you can you can create a whole feeling out of a design using technology. So that's where it becomes sacred. And you can also make your automation so that now your whole time loop just became way smaller. And so you're like leveraging like the spirituality, um, the the time, the time and space um, element. And that can be closed. You know, you can tighten up all those screws. And technology is also allowing us to own everything now because it's so brilliant. You can like own everything and have it all in one place and be like on top of that. And that makes it sacred to me. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's sacred. I, I love to take on that because the explanation of it makes sense. It does. It makes yeah. sense. When you when you explain it like that, but like when you just kind of try to put technology and sacred in the same sentence, like it's like that doesn't fit. <laughs> no, I know it sounds weird. Yeah, but it, it's brilliant. I know um, Karen's on here and she said, um, while you have all the same values I have making beautiful moments, maybe we could maybe you could help me with my business message. Message me. So yeah. you need to message Karen. I will, Karen. <laughs> Yeah. And, you know, can I and I jump off on that because yeah. a lot of the times the it before I start the website and that's why I kind of touched on that a little bit before I even bother with that. I have to find out what's actually going on in, in the actual business. Um, are you connecting to your true soul essence? Number one, are you getting getting the right messaging? Because I can find out right away if you have the right message. That yeah. one is easy. Um, and, and just by you, by somebody talking to me, it's, I, I get yeses or nos and, um, and then I can guide it to where, you know, it's supposed to be. And sometimes that messaging is like, it just needs a, a few uh, different words and that's, um, going to work out so much better. And then it cues you up for the real big time flow that wants to come through because the alignment and balance is there. It's yeah. And then, so your message the real business, what it really is, is just incredible then. Oh. It completely shifts it and changes it. Yeah, you're a perspective shifter. You know all about yeah, shifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? And I get that, and I get how that flow all happens. And, and, but I think the lot, the, the lot of us that um, get the shifting and the flow the technology part scares us and it doesn't seem like it fits or like it should or that it's taking away from that that flow that we got going and the connection that we have going um and i i love your explanation on that that it really doesn't that it actually is part of the whole yeah it's an amplification device actually so like uh, when you're bringing it in, you want to amplify it and it lets you dial it right into that perfect little space, like where the flow's turned on. And that's where people want to stay in your web space and, you know, enjoy what you have to say in your copy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I had to write that down because that was brilliant. Amplification device. <laughs> it really is, though. I mean, computers, we we just think that they're just... I don't know, like we're going to our web pages and stuff, but this it's very different. And I think we're going to move into an era where this becomes 
quite expansive in how we use computers. So you might as well like get on board right now. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, anymore, that's how we all check people out. It's how we shop. It's how we look up phone numbers. Who has a phone book anymore? Nobody, right? <laughs> yeah. Nobody yeah. has a phone book anymore. That y'all do it all online. Um, so let's hit a little bit on the design part because I know that that like brilliant artist doesn't even describe you oh <laughs> i know you're so humble and i love that but it's true like the the brilliance of your art not only do you have you know the training to support it but yeah. right which is cool it's not just like you started doodle in one day and now you're an artist like you actually have training behind you and yeah. not say, not discrediting those brilliant people either but i think it gives you a leg up right like it like gives you some credibility and gives you that following that and the education and the different styles and textures and colors and the weave and the layering and we're just gonna stop on layering for a minute <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I know she's so humble. She's just like keeping her mouth shut over there on the other side because I'm ooing and gooing over her. Um, but you have a way of layering, and I don't even know another word to put on it, mm -hmm. but the depth of your art is so many different layers and one building on top of the other one. Yeah. Just completely, I mean, that sets you aside too. Like now you're like two lanes over. Like, <laughs> like you're not even in the, you're on the other side of the commuter lane. Like. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, you know what? I love layering because it adds depth and dimension and that's like why doesn't our website kind of reflect how we are so depending on like your kind of personal qualities that's what i would invoke inside of a website so if, if you're if you uh, need that to display in your website in a certain way then i can make that happen um and you know there's um, there's so many different ways to do it. Um, and I won't get into the, the design details, but like, I mean, I want, I do want to teach it on a certain level so people can really get into how to, um, how to find, um, that depth and dimension in their own designs. But then it comes into like your fonts and stuff. Like when you're looking through stuff, uh, you're looking through your different fonts and the flow that comes from it you can pick out the perfect font that way it it really is just as easy as i'm saying it is and i think um i think people should just trust their imagination because this imagination piece is really pinnacle to creating that bridge to you know it's really a pathway and clearing out a pathway so that information can just come straight to you yeah yeah it's um and again it's a skill set that you have that's been gifted to you. Yeah. <laughs> completely embodying the gift. I mean, there aren't any other words to that. The brilliance of what you, you have been gifted with. You've been put on this earth to do what you do and it clearly shows. In your, <laughs> and it's, um, it's really, it's really, um, it's an experience. You guys, I'm not even kidding you. Like it blows your mind what she creates. Um, and um, hey, we got a couple minutes here. I know Karen said that she wish she wishes she could stay, but she's heading out, and you need to loop around to Karen again. Janine, yeah. hi, I see you on there too. Thanks for hopping on with us. Um, <clears throat> and um, what do you got going on? Like, how do you? We have a couple minutes before our time's up here. Um, both of us got things to do, and we're on an hour ahead of time. So I super appreciate you holding space ahead of time today for that. Yeah. Um, and for all you guys on with us an hour ahead of time, we love that. Um, thanks <laughs> yeah, for hanging thank with us. Um, but like, like kind of closing this up today, like key points, 
why why this is so integral. I can't say that word today. Integral, <laughs> um, important. Let's go with that word. Important um, in all these different factors being inside of your web presence. It's so important for that. I want you to kind of close that for us. Yeah. As we head <clears throat> out, and then we'll talk about a couple other things before we go. Yeah. Uh, okay. So number one, uh, you are like part of something so much bigger than just yourself. And I know that and I see it very clearly. And your, your guides want to have that connection with you and they're full of information. And so that's important when they're heard, they feel so good. And they just like, they're constantly wanting to give you amazing amounts of support, energy, abundance, um, and all, uh, you don't even know, like so, so much amazing stuff. And uh, when that starts happening, they're heard, your voice, your actual true essence is being completely filtered down and it's becoming part of what's really happening for you. And that may mean that you shift out of what you're doing and become more aligned with what your true soul essence is. And it may not, maybe just some, some alignment issues may need to happen. Uh, but this is all really important because then now when you're clear up and you go to give out to your clients, um, then this is something that comes from a really clear and balanced place and people can see it. Like it's so obvious, like your um, energetic vibration that you put into your work, uh, especially for somebody like me, I can tell like what kind of comes with it. So I think that that's only going to get more and more um, prominent in people that are kind of waking up and are able to receive information like this. Um, and so I think just like on a higher vibe level, you know, that energy coming down, it's it's within your presence online, and then it becomes part of what you give to people. And it's really awesome. Like, that's the best part. This is your, like, you're, it's just all there. It's all like, like, in this one beautiful container. And it's uh, all you. It's everything you. It's so awesome. So lovely. It's so lovely. <laughs> so um, I know you guys, if you've been on with us and you're wondering, oh my gosh, how do I get a hold of Jen? Um, or if you're watching the replay, um, we will come back through and comment on all these comments um, that people are putting in. And we love that you've been on with us. But how do people find you? What do you got going on? Um, hi, Nathan. I just saw you jump on, buddy. Hi, buddy. Um, um, what? And how, what do you got going on right now? What do you, are you doing any programs? Are you, do yeah. you have openings for clients? How's that work? I do. Yeah. So uh, right now I am running a promotion to the end of December, 2017 uh, for a three page website that um, would be for $800. And you can find that on my website at cfog.ca. And that would be S E A F O G dot C A. And that <laughs> drop the links when we're done too, just for ease for them. Yeah, for sure. And I do take one on one clients, especially if there's some like if there's work around uh, really figuring out what your 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 soul essence is, your brand. I, I call it a branding consultation and my schedule there um, But you can. Uh, yeah, actually, you can book that. Um, and then I am going to be in the new year starting to work at programs so people can really begin to access these pathways create really strong pathways um, up to their guides or, and you know, there's a lot of different stuff that we can do. Um, and I'm also very focused on, on learning to open up your heart and your intuition at the same time. So a lot of my programs will be uh, around this and not so much the technology, but all of my websites, when you do um, buy them from me, I have a program, uh, a course inside of my website that you can take and then learn actually how to use your website in a really great way, landing pages, sales pages, opt-ins, so you're not lost when you buy it. <laughs> and, that, and that in and of itself is is like ha hand over your credit card because it's like, I mean, it, it's, it's so beautiful to have that kind of driver's training on that to be able to maintain and just update and do things yourself. and. As a business owner, that's one of the key things that I've been like one of the foundations. I want to know how every piece of my business works yes. and be able to step in when my people are sick or when my, you know, my team members down or whatever, you know, I want to feel like I can support myself 
in making changes when necessary. So yes. that's key. I think it's very important. I think it's very key. Very, yeah. very key. So what else you got going on? Uh, well, we'll be um, we'll be running a new program in the um, new year, and that'll be between a collective of us. So we'll be releasing that um, on uh, December 26th. So be looking out for that. It's going to be some amazing information coming down from five wonderful women. So it's coming. So keep your eye out for that. Yeah, beautiful. And I have one question that I love to ask my clients, my people, my friends, the people that come on this platform um, before we go. Um, are you ready? Oh my gosh, yes. Go. Ah, she wasn't prepared because she didn't know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part about it. If you had any, any advice that you would give your younger self, younger Jen, young Jen, what would you tell her? That um, my imagination is real and I need to stop ignoring it. It's like, sounds so plain and simple, but seriously, like, like I was getting all of this information 20 years ago and I just like, what? Like, I don't get it. It didn't make sense. Yeah. And we're all getting information all the time. And that information is, it comes through in your imagination and it's, it feels like it's just like all in your head and it's not, it's real. <laughs> real. It's, it's real. real. <laughs> Trust it. Trust your imagination. Keep imagining. Keep doing yes. it. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that. And again, people, thank you so much for being on with us. Jen, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, it's been delightful. We let's, we talk all afternoon. Um, <laughs> Um, loop back around here, drop those links for our people. Yeah. And if you're watching this replay, you guys, or if you found value in this, because that's what we strive to do, the best way you can tell us that we've provided value is for you to share this video out to your friends, your tribe, your clients, your page, your people that need it because it's real and it's, and it's strong and it's necessary information to be shared. Um, and we would really appreciate you doing that. So again, my name's Erin Strayer. We've been with Jen Weatherly today from cfog.ca. Love it. She's all in from Canada, hanging out with us today in the U.S. It's been fantastic. Bringing it home. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll see you right back here Thursday, and then we're going to take a week off for Christmas. Yeah. So, yep. Happy, happy rest of the day to you guys today, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Okay. Bye. Jen, hang out with me. Oh, she already.